Hello, I'm Black Bright. Uh, today I decided to do a video um, on, you know, thinking of the worst, but doing your best. So I was thinking about, you know, I've been sending out a lot of videos about what I feel is happening, what I feel is going on with the government and their strategizing. And I can imagine how vulnerable a lot of people feel. I can imagine those who are um, overstayers being vulnerable and wondering whether or not they're going to be picked up. And I can imagine those on indefinite leave to remain, worrying whether or not they're going to be repatriated after spending all that money, after um, being in the country for so long and for after waiting for so long. So I can understand um, how the, the concerns and anxieties people are feeling in this current in this current time. And I thought to myself, you know, what what resolve is there? What can we do to mitigate this, to make us feel a little better, to make us feel as though we have an element of control over what is happening? And I thought to myself, well, if you think of the worst case scenario and then work backwards, the worst case scenario is if you're if you're an overstayer, you get stopped by the police. They do a check with the, with the immigration. They find out they're an overstayer. They send you to a detention centre. You haven't got the money to appeal and you're deported. With the, um, those on who are applying for naturalisation or indefinite leave to remain, they, the worst case scenario for them is that they don't get their ILR awarded. They don't get their naturalisation. They are told that they have to repatriate and that's their worst case scenario. So imagine that you have just been told that you have a, you know, a serious um, illness. Got, you know, forgive me if it's a wrong um, example and some of you do have an illness, but I'm trying to think of what would you be doing to as a contingency plan or what would you be putting in place for your loved ones or your family and what would you need to be doing so we have to we, you can only look within yourselves for the answer now you can't rely on anyone you can't rely on employers anymore because they're all doing employee checks you can only rely on yourself you can only look within yourself for the answer and god gave us all the answer we are all given a talent from which we can make money some people have the gift of the gab. Some people can sing. Some people can write. Some people are sports people. Some people can lay, lay bricks. Some people are electricians. Some people are plumbers. But whatever it is, we all have a gift. And one thing you are left with in this situation is that you can be self-employed. You can be self-employed. Find out what gift you have and exploit it now more than you've ever done before. Don't sit there feeling sorry for yourself. Once you've found out the gift and you can exploit it, use every moment is valuable. Don't dilly dally, just be focused and vigilant. Then set up a bank account, um, online banking. You can do it in whichever country you come from. You can do, make online bank accounts now. I'm not quite sure how you verify the ID, but they, they, they tell you how you can do that. And then you can start sending money over. So at least if you do get caught short, you've got money there in the bank waiting for you. You're not because here they freeze the bank or at least it's difficult for you to get your money once you leave the country. I'm not quite sure why it should be difficult, because if you've got money over here, you should be able to use your, your debit card. But I guess they either um, but a lot of the times they confiscate your passport. You know, these people are. Anyway, don't even let me go there. But hopefully you, um, I know they, I, I know, actually, I know they freeze your accounts most of the time when they deport you. So I know they're saying it's difficult for you to access it, but it's difficult because they've frozen it. So you're not going to be able to have access to it. Um, one other thing you could do is if you've got somebody you can trust, you can have a joint account. They can't close a joint account. They can't freeze a joint account. But in this time, it's very difficult to trust people. But your intuitions tell you who you can trust. In this time, you need somebody you can trust, somebody you can work with, somebody who can um, guide you and try to find, you know, even um, suggest what you could be doing. Somebody who you respect and somebody who you feel you could listen to. 
So I think that is um, that is one of your options. Um, yeah, you ask yourself, what are you emotionally attached to in the UK? What is it about the UK? What is in the UK that you like? Why do you want to live in the UK? Is it because you have family here? Is it because you have a home here? Is your attachment material? You've you bought a home, you've nearly paid for it, all your money's gone into it, you don't want to lose it, which is a valid reason. If it is that, think about what you can be doing now about that. If it's your family, think about whether or not this is the be all and end all and whether your family would be willing to go where you are from. If they love you and they're with you, they should be. So you don't have to lose out on that. If you're thinking about your income or they're thinking about their income, they might be saying, I can't go over to where you live. How am I going to work? How am I going to get money? There are all of those things in there. That's why it's important to know what you're doing and plan in advance. So, um, yeah. Yeah, you know what's important? Your reputation. Because people come on recommendation. It's no point, um, you know, going around and thinking you can get work when you have a sour face or you have an attitude. Always try to smile and be pleasant. Remember the plastic smile that these people have? Learn to adopt it. it Horsemouth in Smile Orange said, in order to get through life, you have to play a part. You have to learn to play a part. Now is the time to play a part, to get what you want, to succeed in what you want, so that you leave this country, if you do have to leave, with pride and not in shame. Remember, when they deport you, it's synonymous with slavery. They, they make sure you've got the chains around your legs and they're showing people, this is what we do to people that come into our country and overstay, who don't live by our rules. We treat them like criminals. Don't You don't want to come here because this is how we treat them. So it's synonymous with slavery. You go back feeling humiliated. You, you need to go back with dignity and pride. And you have to be thinking now, what can I do so that I do go out that way? I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you to self-deport. I'm just telling you to have plans in place and do what you can. Don't do anything illegal. It's not worth it. But you do have um, natural gifts that you've been bestowed with, that you can exploit if you look deep within yourself. All the answers are within ourselves. All the value is within ourselves. All the riches is within ourselves. It's just finding it. And some of us, we've been so beaten down and we just feel as though we don't have no use. And, you know, what is the point? That is how we've been made to feel. And that indoctrination is deliberate. It's deliberate to kind of push down our hopes so we don't have any hope. We don't have any faith. That is, it's all deliberate. So you have to believe that you have what it takes to be who you want to be and go out there and do what you need to do. It's just about mindset. You change your mindset, you change the outcome. It's as simple as that. But if you have the same mindset, you're going to have the same outcome. It's not going to do you any favours. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. I don't think um, I can think of anything else. Hope you found it helpful. Bye-bye for now.